G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to play with my gorgeous octopus mold again today. I went through with some tape and uh, just made sure it was nice and clean on the inside. Doesn't really matter about all this outside, you know, because I've used I've used him a few times now, and um, you know they get bits of resin and ink and things stuck to the sides. But as long as the part that you're going to be pouring resin into is clean, it should be okay. So just give them a little clean. Now um, I have got these gorgeous, gorgeous little gemstones. I think they are like little amethyst, and they're sort of purpley bluey green colors and I thought they would look really pretty in my octopus so I'm gonna I'm gonna try um I don't know whether I'm kind of worried that I'm gonna get a heap of bubbles trapped in there so let, let's just start I'm gonna spray some alcohol in in here first and I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle a few in and we'll just We'll just see what happens. It's going to put some in. I'm not going to cover, you know, the whole total surface. We'll see what it looks like. I want to be able to still see through the stones. Um, I just got these little stones from eBay, I think it was. eBay. I do most of my shopping eBay, <laughs> Amazon. And I just thought, oh, they were really pretty. And I thought they would look nice in something I didn't know in what when I bought them I just thought oh those are pretty um, and there was like different color choices and I thought oh, I'll get the purpley purpley ones and I can do like an amethyst kind of a, a look now I can't find my my eye stickers you know the ones that I bought for the octopi I bought them when I was still pouring in my kitchen and now that I've moved into my studio, I don't know what I've done with them. I might go and actually have another go at finding them because I'd really like to use the eye stickers in here. But I don't know. I've put them somewhere. It's very annoying, you know, when you move something and then you can't find it again. Gosh. Now, I guess these are going to all kind of move once I start pouring resin in them anyway, but... We'll see. I'm hoping that little bit of alcohol is going to help. Although, although I haven't even mixed up my resin yet. I just kind of started and I thought, oh, I don't want the resin sitting there going hard, like curing, if I'm taking my time putting stones in. So I thought I'll mix it up later. <laughs> but now I've added the alcohol. I'll just put, I'll spray some more alcohol in. All right, there we go. Do I need to put any more in? Probably, probably should just finish them, shouldn't I? Otherwise, what am I going to do with just a few left? We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to put a few more in and I'm going to go and see if I can find my eye stickers. I hope I can find them. I just can't think where I've put them. And, um, oops, dropping them in here. All right. Um, I'll be back shortly. I found them. They were right in the back of my little drawer with all my little little tiny things in, you know, dried flowers and things like that. So this these I used last time. Why aren't you focusing? My gosh. My gosh. These are the ones I used last time. Um, they've got like a peel off sticker, but I'm not using that side. Um, got them from eBay. Now, I thought, see, I've got these colors as well. If I can pick them up. These are pretty cute, but I don't think they'll match with the purple very well. And I've got some red ones. I can't focus today. Anyway, um, I'm going to go with the green because um, it's got like a little bit of green in there. So I'm going to go with these little cuties, little cutie pies. 
So I'm going to just pop those in. The rest of them can move out of the way. There's my little step away. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off the back. Otherwise I can't see. Oh gosh, no, I can't do that. I thought they were peel off stickers, but they're not. That's not. Okay. Gosh, now I'm not, not going to know which way. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I'll get a pen. Actually, I'll shine that into the light like that. And so I can see. Sorry if you can't see. It's tricky. I'm shining it into the light so I can see which way the, the eye is going. And I'll just draw on there. If I can draw on it. Okay, so it's that way. All right, and the same with this one. So it's actually a little glass cabochon and it's got a sticker on the back. I didn't realise that. Okay, so now I know which way the eye is pointing okay so I can I can pop them in there because the little octopus's eyes are um, like hollowed out I'm going to just actually pop some glue in there to um, to hold them though um, where's my glue where's my glue hopefully it'll be all right I'm just using the E6000 it's gonna pop Oh gosh, I'm a bit worried about putting glue in there. Mm. No, I'm not going to. Just because previously when I've used glue in resin, it's gone white. Let's just pop it in there. It'll, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Let's stick them in there. Like so. It'll be fine. I'll put some resin under them and, um, and I'll stick them down. Okay. Um, I'm going to go and mix up some resin. I am going to use all of these. <laughs> I'll be right back. I've made up my resin. Now I've gone with my thinnest resin that I've got. It's the Platinum Ultra Clear. I've got it sitting in some hot water. I made up 300 grams, so about 10 ounces. I've got it sitting in hot tap water. And I'm just going to leave it there for five minutes and uh, see if some more of those bubbles will come up to the surface and then I'll I'll pop those. Um, because, the, you know, you really, really have to be careful when you're using stones or pebbles or anything um, that the bubbles will get caught in between and under. And so um, I am really worried about that. I mean, I don't have a pressure pot. Maybe I should get a pressure pot. I don't know. Um, I'll think about it. <laughs> um, maybe I need to get one. But um, yeah, so I'm just trying to get my resin as thin as possible by using a thin resin, by heating it up, by letting it sit for a few minutes. Um, and then um, I will spray the alcohol on as well, pour the resin in and hopefully most of the bubbles will dissipate. So I'll be back in five. Now this resin does take longer to cure than the resin that I normally use, the Platinum 360 Plus. Um, but also because it's very deep in the head, um, it can flash cure if you use a very fast setting resin. So this one will be perfect for this. Right, let's give it one more little spray. I've got little tiny micro bubbles in there, but they should be easy enough to dislodge just wipe its little bottom there all right so I'm going to spray with my alcohol it's this one the 100% isopropyl and I'm going it's just in a little mister and I'm going to pour my resin into the paper cup I think just so that it's easier for me to pour in the areas where I want to pour because I want to get nice and close just made bubbles. I want to get nice and close to the surface. Alrighty. Is that water? Yes, that's water. <laughs> I thought it was resin. Alright, let's start with the little head. Give it a spray. And here we go. Oh, 
hopefully it will work. That's going into, oh my gosh, oh no, the colour's running, no. So where's something, isn't there? Oh, all right, it'll be all right. I'm just going to pour gently so that I'm not dislodging those little eyes. I can still see the line, even though it's the colours kind of come off, I can still see the line. And they're not floating, so yay. I was kind of thinking, oh my God, what if they float? But they are glass cabochons, so they they shouldn't float, should they? No. All right, I'm just filling up my little paper cup again. Oh gosh, see, it's giving bubbles. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Um, get a piece of paper towel, catch my drips. All right, here we go. Now, the other thing, I, I was going to, you might have seen these here. I was going to put alcohol ink in here and like a reverse alcohol ink pour, you know, where you drop that ink in and then you pour the resin on and it does all these pretty patterns. See, if you fill it up too far, too high or too deep, it doesn't pour properly. So, but anyway, I decided against the, the ink at the last minute. The last minute I decided, no, I won't do that because... I think it will detract too much from these gorgeous colours of the stone. It might make it all too dark and then you won't be able to see the, the stones. But I will do that another time. I'll do the reverse ink drop. I'm having a terrible time with this cup. It's because I overfilled it. All right, and I forgot to spray. <laughs> There's too many things to think about. All right, there we go. Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. Yeah, don't fill your cup too much or it just all drips down the side. And around we go. So, yeah, hopefully that was the right decision not to add the, the alcohol. I just felt that it was going to take over too much. I don't know why my dogs are barking. That's Abby. Does everyone know their dogs by the their voice? <laughs> People say to me, how do you know who that is? And I just say, well, you know your kids' voices. Why can't you know your dog's voices too? You know who's talking to you. All right. Now you can see some of the bubbles that have popped up. I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can actually give them a bit of a... Bit of a shake up before I fill it up too much. Try and get those bubbles to come to the surface. I'll do that just before I fill it too much. I think that's helping. I'm not sure. I think it is. Okay. Keep going. Actually, let's torch. Now, be really careful, especially with these thin, really thin um, silicon moulds. They, uh, oh my gosh, alcohol was sitting on top there, it caught fire. Yeah, they, um, they'll they melt really easily, really quickly, these cheap silicon moulds. So, just, um, yeah, if you're going to use a torch like I am, <laughs> and I choose to, I'm really careful with it. Um, sometimes, yes, I do melt the moulds to the resin. I, I know, I do. Um, it's just a risk I'm willing to take sometimes, but I do try to be really careful and just use little short bursts or have my torch on low heat, low flame. But yeah, if you're going to do that, just be really careful. You can use the little, like I've tried using those little torches, you know, the embossing heat tool things. I personally have had no luck with them, with popping bubbles. It just it just blows the resin out of the mould. It just blows it out and it makes a big mess. So <clears throat> I choose to use my little torch. All right, around we go. Just filling it right up to the, the very top, those little tentacles. 
and the eyes have stayed in place. So yay, oh there's a there's a stray stone. I don't really want a stone right there between his eyes. I'll just move that. Okay. Um, you, you can if you want to also just spray with alcohol. If it's the bottom of your mould, you can spray with alcohol. I wouldn't do it to the top because it leaves like this film. Um, but I don't mind doing it to the bottom of the mould. Now I can see a couple of little stones that are just peeking through. I'll just pop those down. So basically that's it, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit more to it. I'm going to add a little bit more resin. Um... Oh, do I add alcohol? Do I add alcohol ink to it? Oh, no. Let's see what it looks like first, hey? I can always do another one with, like, you know, like I said, with the alcohol. So the alcohol inks. Oops, that's gone over the top. All right, um, I'm going to leave it there. I've got a few more little bubbles to pop. If you're going to spray your surface with alcohol, wait before you start torching it, okay? Otherwise, the alcohol's gonna catch fire and it's really dangerous, so just be careful. Poke those down. All right, um, I will see you. Um, oh, it's gonna take a while, 24 hours. I'll see you tomorrow and um, I'll unmold it. I guess I could have left a little bit of a area for a top coat, but then you can always spray, like. If you wanted to, you could always spray the top afterwards after you've unmolded it with some black or some gold or some silver or whatever colour you want. Um, so that's, that's also an option, but for now, that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's the next day and my octopus is set. And I was about to unmold him and I just thought, you know, I, I'm not that happy with it. I think... I think it needs to have a dark background but the problem is I've pretty much filled this up to the top so I'm gonna try and put just a really really thin layer of resin on I've got my resin sitting in some hot water to try and thin it down a little bit so it spreads nicely and I was looking at my purples and I've got this one it's a really it looks like a nice dark purple paste uh, so I'm going to try that. It's called Vineyard or Vineyard by um, Just For You Online UK. So I'm just going to clean off my mixing stick so I can give it a bit of a, a stir. Now I don't know if this is going to be a transparent or whether it's a an opaque colour. I'm not sure. The purples that I've used before have been transparent so we'll see but I'll, I'll use a decent amount and try and make it dark I'll put that in there I've put a piece of cling film down on my bench because I know it's going to be messy and it's going to drip everywhere okay that's actually I don't know if that's my stick or not but anyway looks like it's a nice dark purple doesn't it now let's take that out of its water bath dry its little bottom you can kind of see the the color when you push it to the sides there so it looks like it's a nice dark purple all right you guys um i have no idea if this is going to work but apart from spray painting it and i don't have purple i've only got black and silver and gold so i'm just gonna I'm just going to go for it and see what happens, hey? And hopefully it's not too dark now. Oh, my God. Uh, looks like black. Let me just spread a bit of it out. What can I use? What can I use? I've got this. Just going to kind of push it to the edges. Like so. I don't need very much. I just need a very thin little coating. So this middle bit's uh, resin's already gone over the top of that. The clear resin went over it. I 
looks as if it's working, you guys. Little thin coat. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with me, you know, watching me do this whole thing because it's a bit fiddly and it's going to take a while. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you what I was doing. And um, I'll, I'll come back to you later on today once it's once it's cured and I can unmold it and hopefully I've made the right decision. I, I just thought that these gorgeous stones needed needed a frame, you know, a background. So, all right, I think I'll change now to my smaller one because that's getting a bit tricky to, to do. I've got this one. It's also got a flat edge on it, so I'm going to use that one. All right, I will see you guys a bit later when uh, it's time to unmold. Right, he's set. Yay. It's later on the same day, so let's see if I can get him out. All right. Now, there's going to be a few little overhangs there. I'll get him out and then um, I'll, I'll try and resist the temptation of picking. It's difficult, though. <laughs> Just pull all the way around first. Oh, it pops that out. Look at that. Look, I've got to get, I've got to get that. I know. Just got to get that. There we go. All right. Half done. Half done. Really hope this works. Hope it looks pretty because, you know, those gemstones were not cheap. So hopefully I haven't wasted my money and my time doing this. But I had the idea in my mind as to what I thought it would look like. So hoping it'll look pretty. Now I've got a... <laughs> I've got a some resin over that this little bit here must be lower I, I don't know I always get resin over that bit but it's clear so I'll I'll attack it later on hey let's just get the majority of these bits off they're just like little thin bits of plastic just bear with me I don't want to flip it over and until I'm happy with it <laughs> Oh gosh, but yeah, I will have to just um, I'll have to get in there and pick that bit out. All right, now I'm going to just climb up onto my little stool here so that I can see what you're seeing and hopefully not fall off the stool. All right, are we ready? Oh my gosh, here we go. Ah. Oh. see the stones oh okay so I shouldn't have done the dark purple background oh that's disappointing oh dear oh well you don't know until you try oh dear <laughs> oh I'm disappointed oh dear I guess I can't take it off now can I Peel it all off. Oh, maybe I can. Probably not. Oh, oh well, that's disappointing, you guys. I'm going to try and pick all this off now. You know that, don't you? What's it going to look like if I pick it off? Oh, never mind. I, I thought it was going to work, but no. Can you kind of see them in there? Not really. It's very glary. Oh, hang on. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh, that was an absolute nightmare. What I did was, and I acted really quick, so I, I didn't video it. I got my heat gun and I heated the back of the octopus and the layer that I had just poured a few, a few hours earlier um, actually peeled off pretty easily not terribly easy but pretty easily um there's still some little bits left but um yeah and i sanded its little head <laughs> but 
I just thought, oh, I don't want to waste it. So I got as much off as I could. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it peeled off pretty easily. And there you go. Like, oh, I think I've saved it. Look at these gorgeous green eyes. I've got green eyes too. <laughs> there we go. Um, probably can't see really well in this light. But um, yeah, there he is. So hopefully I've saved him. Like putting the dark black background on, um, I, I just couldn't see the stones. So that was pointless. But look, now we know. Hey, <laughs> I do get things wrong from time to time, you know. But look, I'm more than happy to put the videos up so that you can see what went wrong and perhaps how to fix it. Um, so yeah, I, I do really like him. I think the issue is because the stones... Um, they're not a solid color. They kind of, they're kind of transparent, uh, you know, with an amethyst and there's like a really pale turquoisey tealy color. Um, so a lot of them are quite transparent. And um, putting that dark background on, you just just ruined it. But if the colors I think had been solid colors, um, it probably would have been better. So there you go. There he is in all his octopi glory so let me know what you think of him and um yeah <laughs> um i'll do another one at some stage i'll get some different colored stones and see if i can do better but yeah i'm happy with the way he's turned out in the end all right hope you've enjoyed that video and uh, i will see you all real soon for the next video okay <laughs> bye for now